Not to be biased, but I think this is my favorite algorithm for addition. It's called the lattice algorithm for addition. And to demonstrate how effective it is, I'm going to use two four-digit numbers added together. I'm adding the number 3,567 plus 5,678. And underneath my addition problem, where I've stacked my numbers so that the digits match up in each place value, I've drawn something that we're calling a lattice. Under each place value, there is a square. That square represents the place value. In this case, that's the units, the ones place value. This next square would represent the tens place value. After that would be the hundreds place value, and then the thousands place value. And then notice that each place value box is cut in half diagonally. And the reason for this is because in our base 10 system, when we add two digits together, the most regrouping that we could possibly do would be in the example of 9 plus 9. We know 9 plus 9 is 18. That is one group of 10 and eight singles. So when I'm adding two digits together, at the very most, I will have to regroup with a group of 10. Now if I'm adding multiple digits together, instead of 18, maybe I would get 27 if I'm adding 9 plus 9 plus 9. Again, I'm adding multiple digits and I'm only able to regroup with 10s. If I needed a third position for like hundreds, I would have to add many, many numbers. Uh, I would have to add at least 12 nines together before I came up with regrouping so that I would have a one in the hundreds place. So cutting our units place box or any place value box in half allows us to put our singles in the bottom and our new groups in the top. Adding the numbers in our ones place, that would be 7 plus 8. We know 7 plus 8 is 15. Oh, that's too dark. So 7 plus 8 equals 15. But we also know that 15 is one group of 10 and five singles. So I will put 5 in the singles portion, and I will acknowledge the fact that we were able to make one new group of 10 by putting one in the new groups. It looks like I'm writing 15 in the ones place, and I kind of am, but the lattice is separating the two digits of the numeral 15 in a way that's going to make this work out really well. Let's continue using the algorithm. 6 plus 7 is 13. But 13 is a group of 10 and 3 singles, so I'll put 3 in the singles portion and 1 to represent the one group of 10 we were able to make. Then we'll move on to the hundreds place value. We have 5 plus 6 here, which is equal to 11, but 11 is one group of 10 and one single, so I put 1 in the singles position and 1 in the new group. And then lastly we have 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8. 8 does not make any new groups, so I put 8 in the single and 0 in the new groups. Now that I have my lattice completely filled out, we need to add down the diagonals. So we're going to add down each diagonal. This 5 in the ones place singles box doesn't have anything to add to, so we'll just copy it down. 
The next diagonal has a 1 and a 3 in it, so that looks like 4. The next diagonal has a 1 and a 1 in it, that looks like 2. And then lastly, we have 8 plus 1, which is 9. So our final answer is 9,245. Now, of course, we can do this using the standard algorithm. But I want to remind you that there's a lot of things that are not written out. 7 plus 8 is 15, carry the 1. 6 plus 7 plus 1 is 14, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12, carry the 1. 5 plus 3 plus 1 is 9. Again, standard algorithm is great for quickly calculating something without writing a lot down. But it's not the best for teaching what's happening. In this lattice algorithm, we're taking the time to show each regrouping and we're keeping the numbers very close together so that the work is moving down. We're not jumping back and forth between ones that were carried on top and our final answer at the bottom. Everything that we're doing is close together. So I think it's very useful.